Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Looking for some big winds to pick up this afternoon though. It's probably blowing 10 to 15 now and then it's going to go to 15 to 20s this evening. So I'm going to make a quick run out, uh, launching out my new Key West uh, launch here. And uh, I think we're going to go head out to Fleming Key, get behind it, and then fish on the far tip by the Special Forces area there. And uh, just do some finding around, not a lot of chance really with much, but I usually find pilchards out there, so it'll be a good stop off point to check those out and uh, see if there's any snappers and stuff. So that's the plan. All right, making my run out, going out to the islands over there, hitting the same spot where I found the pilchards before, and they're here again. So I think I might stop by and pick up a bucket. There they are. Running all along the edge there, more along there, so I think I'll throw on these guys, get me a few dozen. I prefer pinfish, but this will be faster. The key thing about bait catching, especially throwing the cast net, is you want to be one and done. Don't rush up there and spook them and then just throw a half-ass throw and mess up and they escape. Because these guys are going to just take off as soon as I throw this net, so I'm gonna make sure everything's laid out right, make sure the lets, the uh, net's all set up correctly, and then uh, once I'm totally ready, then I'll throw on them. I'm just worried about tangling up in that uh, mangroves there, so I'm not throwing right now, but I think those over there are ready, just a little bit longer throw. Oh, just like that. Don't do that, Steve. Fudge, fudge, fudge. There, I still got them though, but man, talk about calling your rookie mistakes. All right, we're golden. All right, and see what I mean? They scatter, they're still over here though, but you don't want to take that risk and lose them and mess up just because you rushed. All right, we're out of here. And a little bit of a rough ride on this side. I'm definitely going to go on the other side of Fleming Key when I go back. I just worry about coming under the bridge sometimes, but this is going to be half the wind that's uh, going to be coming this evening. All right, made it around Fleming Key. We're just going to hit those islands over there, try to get out of this wind. I'm definitely going around the other side on the way back. Getting nasty out here. All right, we have arrived. A little bit of uh, wind security here, although it's not going to be very much because it's going to blow right through there. All right, I'm all set up kind of in this little wind break. Got water just ripping through here, deep cut. Forms a bit of an eddy over there. There's more pilchers like I figured, but wanted to be safe. Got my bucket of pilchers there. Put the chum out just for the sake of it. And then uh, I'm just gonna be uh, dropping uh, some baits back in here and see what happens. We'll use the old uh, through the chin, out the roof of the mouth. And drop that back there. See if there's any uh, hungry critters. Oh, all right, there we go. Guys are sneaky little dudes. Oh, nice one. Playing against that current. Er, er, er. There we go. Chunker. Uh oh. Nice one to start with. There's a mullet. Get him! Whoa! There we go. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. Pulling in the current. There we go. Embarrass you in front of all your friends. Yeah, you got caught. Oh, that's a nice one. Ugh. All day long. 
Take nice ones like that. Whoa. When they start getting a bit picky, in the order I'm just lip hooking them, it leaves that whole jig head and the hook exposed. They get a little smart for that. So what I do is go right into the mouth, Oops. push it all the way as far as you can, and then bring it out right out the top of the head. Just like that. And that basically hides it a lot more when they become really wary. And just pitch it out. Let it ease down. Uh, I think one's already got it. They're playing with it. And then go tight. There we go. Oh, stay out of there. There we go. Bam. This bucket's in my way. There we go. Ooh, that took a run. What the heck is that? Oh, just another snapper. Tried to get back to his uh, mangroves. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Get out of the current. I'm gonna bass master you. Oh, oh. oh. Bam, that's what we're looking for. Look at that chunker. Oh. All about the bait, baby. <laughs> Another good one. Oh, stay out of the mangroves. Oh. Another nice one. Man, these are some sandwich mangroves. Look at him. Oh, another beauty. I'm getting bigger. Oh no, did you swallow my jig head? Whoa, relax, relax. I am gonna give you that jig head. All about the bait, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Check it out. Nice. I don't know if you can see, but there's a big school of nice sized keeper uh, mangroves right here. But the bigger ones are always outside looking around. So I'm kind of tossing it to that outer edge there beyond where those guys are at. There's got it. There we go. Oh. Oh. Had my drag too light. Oh, he's still on. There we go. There we go. Ugh. And that's why I'm getting these uh, nicer sized ones. Nice. Another pretty one. one there so just right here young and dumb smaller ones just kind of drifting around but tucked around that side probably a lot farther back those smarter ones are laying around and I'm having actually much better luck with the uh, the dead pilchards than I am with the live ones basically because with the way I've got this rigged uh, the live ones, I'm just going through the uh, the nostrils, so they're able to just grab it by the body and uh, steal it. Where the way I've got it rigged here, they really take it down. So I'm gonna go a little bit farther out. I gotta tighten my drag a little bit. See, and that's versus going through the nose. Still going out towards the top of the head, but I'm showing that much hook 
and then they could just grab from the body and pull it right off that hook. So that's kind of the problem with doing it with the live bait rigging, especially when they're being a little bit wary. God, there's something big. Uh oh. I don't think that's a mangrove. If it is, it's a nice one. Don't be a shark. Uh, what is this dude? Is that a shark? Oh, it's a Goliath grouper. Uh, oh no, no, no. Hey, <laughs> Goliath grouper, nice. Oh, no, no, no. It's almost making it there. Yeah, look at that birdie. <laughs> oh. I'm glad I brought the 30-pound uh, leader on this one. Look at that glass group. Oh, no. That's how we do it. I knew there'd be some big chunkers lurking down there. Alright, come on, come on. Alright. Nice. Nice glass. Ooh, look at you. Pretty one. Out there, got him gut hooked. So I'm gonna cut this line, let him go. Beautiful colors. All right, buddy, I'm gonna cut you loose. Relax. Cut it close. Ah, crap. You're not going to cooperate, are you? I'm going to cut you loose. There you go. Yay! <laughs> awesome. While we've got a break in the action, I'd like to introduce you to the new All About the Bait company logo t-shirt. Uh, I released the new logo with my guide shirts, but I wanted a nice, just plain clean t-shirt. So I went with the Hanes, all black, nothing on the back, just the company logo up front. Changed it a little bit by adding the Key West, so that's where I'm at. Uh, to get these things out there, I'm gonna be offering some freebies to my All About the Bait product testers and Patreon supporters. So for the month of August, if you were a $20 Patreon supporter or higher, okay, or the 10 list of uh, people I just randomly picked there, should be scrolling all your names there, okay. I've already mailed out the little certificate with the instruction sheet and your discount code. So once you get that, just go to www.allaboutthebait.com. Choose either the new black company logo t-shirt, or you can also choose from the light blue or the gray ash masturbator t-shirt. Pick your size, add it to your uh, cart, go to checkout. Uh, when you're checking out in the payment screen, there's a little discount code box. Enter the discount code I mailed you with the little certificate, and that'll deduct the cost, which is $15 off of it, making it free. For everybody else, $15, free shipping, no taxes, unless you live in Florida, sorry. But boom, the new All About the Bait company logo. And you know what they say about this, the black shirts. Once you go black, you only have to do laundry half the time. I think one's already got it. There we go. There we go. Back to some action. Nice little keeper there. Boom. Don't 
bite me. Get these guys all hot and bothered. I am. Whoop, gulp. And I'm gonna take it, he's gonna get it, little one. <laughs> oh, smelled it, didn't want it. And no, nope. oh, buddy got it. There we go. Another nice one. Ooh, he's spitting up all that chum that he ate. Man, you've been cobra you're not getting off. Just slaying them. Oh, look at these guys. Man, nice, chunky guys. Look at all these goose. I oh, swallowed it as well. Man. All right. You get to keep it. Man, just beautiful. Nice chunkers. Well, it's starting to get a lot more windy, so I think I'm gonna head out of here, feed my buddies, get them all excited. Man, look at them, they're gonna be rah, rah. <laughs> I could just hear that uh, wind ripping through here, so I'm gonna head out of here. But key thing about this spot um, is it's very secluded. It's got lots of current, as you see. More current, the better. Plus, it's got structure. Plus, it's got depth where it's been cut out from that current. And there's bait there. There's fish there. All sizes of fish. I guarantee, if I stayed here till the late evening, I'd be smacking that uh, juvenile tarpon as well. But uh, I want to get out of here before that wind really picks up so call it safe to run sorry now that we're on the leeward side you can see where all the other all the boats uh, hang out it's the mooring field much nicer on this side now this is the only sketchy part about coming this way of having going to go through the cut I guess narrow there i think i'm on a slack tide so it shouldn't be a problem but current can get really ripping then you get a lot of boats through there so just got to be a little bit careful all righty we're back all loaded up made it back safely beautiful day on the water lots of catching can't beat that but it's hard to miss when you got a bucket full of pilchards uh, you got current depth structure I mean you're golden if you got all those things but anyways, don't forget to check out your new All About the Bait company logo. Bam! With the Key West. Uh, $15, free shipping, no tax, unless you live in Florida. Uh, thank you to my Patreon supporters. Hopefully you'll enjoy the shirts as well. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Beautiful day here in Key West.